Now, some of you may already know, but for those of you who don't, we transitioned to a experimental four-day work week this summer at May Create. And there was a journey that brought us there. We did a whole podcast episode about it. So if you want to listen to our journey to a four-day work week, you can pop back and listen to that. But ultimately, we did it on a trial for the summer to see how it went. And we love it. We, we love it. We think it's amazing. And But there are definitely pros and cons. And so I wanted to keep you updated because a lot of people have been really interested in this idea, right? They, they think it sounds great. And it is great. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it's great. Um, but there's definitely pros and cons to it, just like with anything else. And so I feel like if I can just share with you the things that we're experiencing and seeing along the way, then maybe you can put these into action and make a four-day work week a reality for you and your team. That would be great. Yes, let's do it. Let's change the perspective of the universe and decide to work less and still get lots of crap done. Can we do it? Yes, and we're going to do it with purpose. So let's get to business. You're on a mission and you just need more people to know about it. And whether you're brand new to marketing or a seasoned pro, we are all looking for answers to make marketing decisions with purpose. I'm Monica Pitts, a techie, crafty business owner, mom, and aerial dancer who solves communication challenges through technology. This podcast is all about digging in and going digital. I'll share my marketing know-how and business experience from almost 20 years of misadventures. I'll be your backup dancer so you can stop doubting and get moving towards marketing with purpose. So I think the first thing that you need to make a four-day work week successful for you in your company is clarification on exactly what a four-day work week means to you. Like, what does it mean? What are your boundaries? What are the parameters? Now, for us, a four-day work week means that people should be working four eight-hour days. Not four 10 or 12-hour days. We're not a hospital. We're a design company, and we need room to breathe. We need room to get creative stuff out, okay? We need room to solve problems. And to do that, we feel like we can do it better in a four-day work week with more time away from what we're doing, okay? So our four-day work week is four eight-hour days. Now, having said that, we have also made an agreement to each other that there are going to be two times a year where we will work Fridays, okay? So we will work Fridays when we launch our Better Than DIY website program in the fall, and we will work Fridays when we launch it again in the winter. Now, we do that for two reasons. One is because I need uh, some extra support to make sure that everything is in place to open the doors to the program and enroll students and get their websites set up and have them onboarded to our system. I need some help to do that from my team. But then also, because fall and winter are the two busiest seasons that we have at May Create, we are traditionally slower during the summer. And so We have more projects and more client work coming in during those times of year, and we need to make sure that we capitalize on that time of year and make some extra money so that way we can give bonuses and do raises and all that kind of stuff, right? So we've committed to those extra Fridays during those times of year. And we also have committed to a few scattered Fridays throughout the rest of the year when we do our May Create Day, which is we 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 get together, we do trainings, we work on the business and just make make create a better place to work and and you know smooth out some some rough edges so that's our definition of a four-day work week is that you work four eight-hour days for most of the year and that there are a few times of the year that we're all going to come in five days a week and put in some extra effort because we know that it has to be done in order for us to run our business successfully, okay? So whatever a four-day work week looks like to you, you would need to set those same parameters because people ask all the time, they're like, oh, so you're doing a four-day work week? Yeah, uh uh-huh. So like four tens and I'm like, no, no, that's not, (laughs) that's not what it is. And they're like, what? Okay. So then they say, oh, so you guys, you know, you don't get vacation time anymore. And I'm like, no, no, that's not what it means. Everybody still gets their vacation time. We put this system in place because we wanted to have more space to more efficiently solve problems, to give our brains a break, to to have more life balance. Gosh, that sounds so cliche, life balance. 
but that's why we did it. So if I'm going to take away your vacation time, that's like, that's counterintuitive. That's going backwards. So that's not what I'm in. That's not what I'm about. You could do it that way if that's what you want to do, but that's not what I'm about. So what are the outcomes of this definition of a four day work week for us so far. Well, first off, I feel like, and I can say that pretty definitively, because right now, as I'm recording this, I'm in the middle of one of the five day week cycles where I do have to work five days a week. And it feels harder than working four days a week. I can't explain it. And that's not to say that I'm not spending my time off from work not doing work like I'm just doing different work right I'm going to the grocery store I deep clean the bathrooms I clean the girls' closets and you know I I take care of stuff that needed to be done anyway it's just I would normally be doing it on a Saturday or a Sunday so then I get the Saturday or the Sunday to tackle a project that I want to do for myself whether it's building a new aerial sequence because yeah I'm I'm like one trick away from being a stinking circus freak For those of you who don't know, I like spin around, think think Cirque du Soleil, okay? Like the hoops and and people call them curtains. The fabric, yeah, I do that crap in my free time. I think it's amazing. Or if if I'm trying a new craft project or painting a room in my house, like I have time to do that because I have this extra day. Or I have a day to take my kids out and go hiking or explore or go, go to another town near us. So that's pretty fun. Like and I know that the rest of my team is doing the same thing. Like Stacy's family got a camper and they're out, they're camping now on the weekends. And Tyler is, he's going and, and getting all of his meal prep done on Fridays. So that way he can spend Saturday and Sunday with his wife and they go to a lot of powerlifting events. So everybody is using this Friday to kind of recoup from the week and then like roll through and get to do the weekend stuff that they might not have gotten to do because they were having other responsibilities in their lives. And right now in this five-day work phase that I'm in, it is it makes the weekend seem just so much shorter because I don't have the bandwidth to be able to do the thing for me anymore because I still have to do the responsibilities. So I I feel like when I work a four day work week, my my mind feels better because it gets a break and because I feel like I've accomplished all the things that I needed to do accomplish for my family and around my home. And I can walk into the weekend with this perspective of freedom. Like I feel stinking privileged that I get to spend these two days doing now what I wanna do and really focusing on spending them with my family and doing the extra things that I wouldn't have been able to do if I had to work that day. And I also feel like my body feels better when I work a four day work week because my job, it puts me in front of a computer. So I sit in front of a computer and while I have a standing desk that raises and lowers and I can take walks in the middle of the day, it is still really hard on my body. I just don't think that I was meant to sit in a chair all day long. I don't think so. I have I have really bad headaches. I have to go to the chiropractor for my back and my neck. I'm it is it's hard, okay, friends? And I'm not over here like, yeah, you know, I don't I don't want this to be like Monica's health complaint. But when I only am in front of the desk 4 days a week, it makes a big difference because I spend those three days that I'm not in front of my desk moving just in constant motion and my body like it regenerates itself and then I am far better when I hang out in front of my desk on Monday and my Tuesday hangover I call it my Tuesday hangover because a lot of the times I sit down in my at my desk all day on Monday after a two-day weekend and then on Tuesday, I wake up with a really nice headache because I've sat at the desk and I haven't moved as much and, and I have brain fog on Tuesday. And I feel like I have far less of that. Like I don't experience it nearly as much when I have a body in motion for three days and a body that's like sedentary for four in front of my computer. So I feel like that's the first really big pro of having a four-day work week is that my mind and my body feels better. One thing that is incredible is that we still get a metric ton of things done at Make Create. We get so much done in four days. 
I swear there are people who couldn't get this much done in seven. And it's because we really now, we really have to prioritize, okay? And we have to work with purpose a lot of purpose. We have had to rethink the way that we do things. Even processes that we've had for a really, really long time had to be reevaluated because we didn't have the bandwidth to do them the same way anymore. That is incredible, people. Like, we're actually working like smart human beings. We've wanted to work like smart human beings for a really long time. We've had like work smarter, not harder on our goals forever, right? As Uh, in the May Create team, but we haven't actually had to do it. We hadn't been forced to do it. Have you had people tell you that they get more done when they have more things to get done? You know, like they say, oh, well, when I was in college, you know, when I worked and I I had to study and I had to go to class and then I was still in all these clubs and I got all this stuff done. So I was so good at getting all these things done. Okay, so that's awesome. And part of that's because you didn't have kids that were literally sucking the brain power right out from underneath your body. Not that I don't love my kids, but I swear they just like tax me sometimes. I know you guys can understand where I'm coming from. But either way, the point that I was trying to make there is that I hear people say all the time, I get more stuff done when I have more things to get done. And I feel like the four day work week, because we were so committed to it, allowed us to reevaluate things that we should have evaluated anyway. We should have kicked them to the curb forever ago. And now we did. We looked at it and we said, we don't really like this. This feels like it takes forever. We don't have time to do this and still only work four days a week. So let's do it differently. Without sacrificing the quality, without sacrificing the client experience, like, and it can be done. I'm, I'm here, I'm living proof. I'm telling you, it absolutely can be done. So the four-day work week has given us the reason and the motivation to look at the way that we've done things for the past 18 years and find a way to do it better, more efficiently, while still delivering a quality product and the level of client service that we hold ourselves to as May creators. It's pretty powerful. It's pretty cool. Because we're problem solvers over here. That's what we like to do. We like to face a challenge and we le- we like to solve a challenge. And all of us have that in common on the team, every single one of us. And if you don't have that, you're probably not going to like working at May Create because <laughs> you're going to be like, oh my gosh, this sucks. I'm always facing something that I don't know how to do and trying to figure out how to do it. And if that's not in your comfort zone, then being on our team is also not going to be in your comfort zone. So we're really lucky to have a group of people that just love to solve problems and find solutions, even when it's changing the way that you've been doing things for a really long time to allow you to reach another goal. It's awesome. Another thing that I find myself doing all the time right now is automating things. I love automating things, but I had not forced myself to do it because there's a lot of really menial tasks. And you hear about automation all the time, right? AI this, AI that, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, but, so for example, every time that we do a batch of podcasts, I create a document where I link to all the podcasts and I explain what clip I want to use for the introduction and I outline all the details for the mix down and then I have to send it over to one person. And then I have to, when they're all published and ready to go, I have to send them to the guest who was on the episode. And then I also have to send it all to the social media manager. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is taking me forever. And it's the same stuff over and over and over again. And all I'm doing is copying and pasting it from Airtable into emails. Yeah. That's annoying, isn't it? But I was doing it because I had the time to do it, right? So last week, I realized that something that I had scheduled myself time to do, I had already done. Like past Monica had done it. I had done it actually on an airplane (laughs) coming back from Costa Rica. And I didn't have any internet. And so I didn't update Airtable to tell me it was done because I use Airtable to manage all of our marketing and stuff. So I thought, oh my gosh, I have two hours. What am I going to do with that two hours? I need to make sure that I really invest this time effectively, especially in this busy time of year for us. So I took that time and I automated the process of sending a response email to our guests, letting them know that the podcast is published and it attaches a graphic graphic that we use on our website for the episode and it gives them a link to the episode. I also automated the process of handing over all the mixdown details 
to my audio um, manager. And then I also automated the process of taking that same information and putting it into an email for my social media manager. So now instead of crafting those emails, all the information pulls itself out of Airtable instead of me copying and pasting it. And all I have to do is check a box and the emails automatically send to them when I'm ready for them to send. And the email that sends out to the guest, it automatically sends, I never have to check a box, it just does it on its own. That is going to save me so much time. It has already saved me so much time as we're rebatching our podcast. So having this four day work week, it's caused us to really reevaluate the way that we do things and work smarter, not harder, because we're not willing to sacrifice quality and we're not willing to sacrifice client service. We're also not willing to sacrifice our time to ourselves. So I really feel like it has forced us to work with purpose, even down to scheduling the things that I'm going to do on my calendar. I haven't done that in the past because I've had more time like in between tasks. And now I have to put what I'm going to do on the calendar so I know that I can get it done and other people know that they can't schedule other things for me. So I I really feel like it is, it's better, better for my body, it's better for my mind. We still get a metric ton of things done and it forces us to work with purpose and automate things and just rethink the way that we do things. It really forces us to prioritize what's most important. And I like that about it too because there's some things where I've been like you know what I'm just not going to do this like I thought I wanted to do it and I thought it was a great idea but I only have four days a week and so uh, that extra day I don't have it to do this other thing so I'm just not going to do it like like so you can simplify in the way of just not doing a certain task and I realize that there's things you cannot take off your plate but there's types of work that we said you know what we're just not going to take on that project because it's not the right fit for us we can't do it as efficiently as we want to and deliver the quality that we want to deliver within the parameters that we've now given ourselves so it, it gives us permission to say no to some things no to some things in our marketing no to types of projects with our clients and i mean no to some clients in general like if a client isn't willing to work in our parameters like if if they always want to have meetings on a friday or if everything's an emergency for them we're not going to be a good fit because we don't work in emergency land we work in proactive land and we need to work with clients who are also hanging out in proactive land with us so that way we can have a synergy and really get crap done and that's not to say that there are not emergencies and that we don't take care of the emergencies because we totally do but for the most part we all need to be living in proactive land to be able to make the four-day work week work okay The last amazing, like eye-opening thing about the four-day work week is that we still make plenty of money. We're actually more profitable now than we were before. And I think there's a lot of reasons for that. I think that we're more profitable because we really are forcing ourselves to adjust the, the ways that we do things and we're cutting the fat off of our processes. So we, instead of having a bunch of redundancies and red tape, we adjusted the time that we take people through a project. So for example, we used to have a three month turnaround on websites and we had, we gave people a month and a half to get all of their content to us before we started building out the pages on their site. And what was crazy is most people missed that deadline and they would, they never seemed to be able to get it together. So what we did instead was we put a one month or a four week lead time on the project. So before we even start the project, they sign the contract and they know that we're not gonna start working on it for four weeks because that's how long it takes to get on the calendar. And then when we start, they know that they have to have every single thing into us because we are going to get their website done in one to two weeks done like there are a few websites that are three weeks but most of them are one to two weeks okay so our clients now they're like oh my gosh I have to have all of our stuff done so they're living in proactive land right with us and they get their stuff done and they hand it into us and then the project gets done in a week and you know what happened with that project 
We didn't have to have 700 meetings to recap what we were doing. We didn't have to have a billion documents to explain every single detail because people were focused on it and working on just that for one week and they remembered the things that they needed to work on. And so the project comes out more accurate. There's less reviews needed on the work because the work is done correctly the first time. And we have less account service time on it because we're not constantly pushing the project back over and over and over again because we're missing deadlines because the client didn't have their stuff together. So it's pretty magical. And because of that, it allows us to be more profitable. We also have less employees now than we had before. And the employees that are with us are really good at their job and they know exactly how to do it. So it took out all of that training time that my senior level employees were spending with the junior level employees teaching them how to do their job. So it gave them back like at least eight hours a week to be able to focus on doing the work instead of training the person underneath them. And it, I mean, it's it's pretty great. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's wonderful to have a team of people who really know what their jobs are. Now, I realize, I realize that, like, someday one of these amazing, like, unicorns may leave, may create, and then I will have to face that challenge, and I will not be nearly as insulated to be able to just pull up that junior designer and put them in that senior slot. But, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna let future Monica deal with that problem right now. I'm enjoying the four day work week. Okay, so after listening to that, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, the four day work week, it's like the most magical thing. We should absolutely be doing this. There's clearly no negatives to it. Monica said that there's like all these positives, but I gotta be real with you. There are some negatives as well that go with this new system. And we anticipated them from the beginning. We knew that they were gonna be this way because when I had my babies, I worked four days a week while they were infants like so that way I could nurse them and spend more time with them as babies it made it easier for me to be a new mom when I didn't have as many days in the office that was a pretty powerful thing but now during that time I quickly realized that this zen idea of taking all of the kids doctor's appointments on Friday and never actually working on a Friday was not attainable because kids get sick when they get sick. I can't pick that, right? I can't schedule my kid having a cold or having a flu. It just it doesn't happen. So what I quickly realized when my babies were babies is that I was going to have to be flexible with my four-day work week. I was going to only ask myself to work four eight-hour shifts a week but it was going to be spread out in five days because I was going to have responsibilities to my family at least one of those days whenever it happened. So it allowed me to have flexibility and not overbook myself when my kids were little. So we realized that this was going to be a challenge because, you know, you <laughs> you got to go to the dentist, you got to go to the doctor, you got to go to the bank, you have to go to the chiropractor, and all these things will happen Monday through Thursday, it feels like, right? And so you you have to just know that you still have to get your work done. And so a lot of us do still, if, if you have a doctor's appointment or if you have to leave early to go to a track meet or something like that for your kids, you realize that you're going to spend some time working on Friday. And that's okay. Like all of us do it because we're all committed to getting the work done. The work has to get done and it has to be quality and it has to be at the same level of customer service that we've always provided. We are non-negotiable on those things, right? So that means that if you leave early for that track meet, you will be coming into work on Friday and finishing up that task that didn't get done because you didn't work the last three hours on Friday. And that's okay. Um, And I, I do feel like everybody is okay with that. We're definitely all doing it. Um, and, and honestly, it's okay because what we needed was more balance and this allows us to have it, but it doesn't mean that you're never going to work on a Friday again, right? Because the universe makes decisions about your time that you don't have control over and you have to be okay with that. It is a challenge though because it can be easy to drop time and then feel overwhelmed because you're not giving yourself 
the time that you need to get your work done and you do it unknowingly. So I don't end up doing that because like I said, I, I already lived that. I lived that 12 years ago with my first child. And so I don't find that happening to me very much anymore because like I clearly understand when I need, when stuff isn't done. But I do feel it sometimes with my other staff members because they'll be like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I have all these things to do. And I'm like, I know. And, you know, look at, how you utilized your days you know during the week how did that go and then they realize oh yeah that's right I did go out and have a long lunch this day and I left early to go to a class this day and so that four hours that's a half a day and when you're only working four eight hour shifts that's a lot there's not wiggle room for you to make it up so they just realize then that you know they probably need to figure out how to get it done because that's our responsibility to each other I think another challenge that we have right now is granting extra vacation wiggle room. So in the past, we've we've tried to be extremely generous, understanding that the the universe hands you unexpected gifts or challenges, <laughs> whichever ones they are. So if an employee's pet would pass away, or if they would get really sick, or if they had a migraine or if they you know their back really hurt or you know they got married whatever those things were we would be like you know what it's okay we're we're still gonna pay you you just take that time and you do what you need to do with it because we understand that that's what life is right and now it is more challenging because we have kind of granted that time already so that time has already been contributed to them by implementing the four-day work week so then when they're like well you know I still want to be able to take my vacations but I need to be able to go do this thing over here that's above and beyond what I would normally do and when I would usually say okay yeah I get that that falls within me create values I'm going to pay you for half the time I it's not as easy for me to do that anymore now I have to be like well I think we're going to have to rearrange your schedule and for the week before and the week after that you need that extra time above and beyond your normal vacation, you're going to have to work extra days, right? You might be working extra days for a month, whatever it is. So it's up to everybody on the staff to be able to find that balance for themselves. And we've had a lot of conversations about it so far and they've all made the choice that they feel is right for them about how they're gonna manage it. And sometimes it is not doing the thing that they initially said that they were gonna do because it doesn't feel nearly as fun if you're not gonna get paid while you're there. (laughs) But when you're at a vacation and you already have your wiggle room, accounted for by four day work weeks it's kind of tricky so I do feel like we have more conversations about that now than we have in the past and I really hope that we're just we can navigate it as fairly as possible and allow everybody to make the decision that's right for them but still realizing that everybody still has a responsibility to the team because without all the members of our team we can't really attain our goals as a team And that, my friends, is where we are at with our four-day work weeks. We, We love it. And we feel like the most important thing that we did was set the parameters up front so that everybody understood what it meant, what it was, and what it wasn't. And I feel like that's a really important first step if you're going to try to implement this in your company. We feel like it really falls into our values. It does not stop us from getting work done it actually motivates us and in a way forces us to reevaluate the way that we've always done things to automate more and just to rethink it and and really work with purpose by prioritizing and making sure that our process is the exact right process that fits both our values of client service and quality but then also our value of having more personal time and we're still making money and it's amazing and our bodies feel better our minds feel better but on the other hand there's not a ton of wiggle room and so when we do scoop time out of those four eight hour days it does end up being made up either like in the evening or on a Friday and we all understand that and so it has brought to light a lot of conversations about how we keep that flowing and working but we're all committed to it because we really think it is the right thing for our company so if you're thinking about 
starting your company on an experimental four-day work week, feel free to contact me. I am by no means an expert. As you can see, I am living this and problem solving my way through this. We just got done with our experimentation phase and decided to implement it permanently. But that doesn't mean that I know everything about it. But I but I am experiencing it and I'm really happy to discuss it with you. So I love to connect. You can reach out to me, Monica at MayCreate.com, M-O-N-I-C-A at M-A-Y-E, create.com. And we can set up a time and chat. Be perfectly happy to do that. That would be awesome. And stay tuned to the Marketing with Purpose podcast and I will be keeping you updated as I learn more about how to make a four-day work week even more successful. So until next time, go forth and market with purpose.